So hi everyone today in this video I am going to discuss the integral of ln x by 1 plus x to the power n with respect to x from 0 to infinity okay now this is a very interesting piece of problem because here you will be uh, using your uh, beta function gamma function the improper integrals that we had studied in our regular classes so here what I'll do is I'll start with the substitution let x to the power n be uh, let's say t so x becomes t to the power 1 by n so dx becomes 1 by n t to the power 1 by n minus 1 dt okay also we can take log on both the sides of this expression so that we end up getting log x also in terms of log t by the way log to the base e I am talking about so it will be ln t so this will become n ln x is equal to ln t so our ln x can be now substituted with 1 by n ln of t so using this in our integral let's call it by the name of i so let's use this in our integral i so i will now become now ln x will be 1 by n ln t okay divided by 1 plus x to the power n which is t and what will be your dx dx will be 1 by n t to the power 1 by n minus 1 dt now limits of integration if you put x as 0 t will also be 0 and if you put x as infinity t will also be infinity so limits of integration remains unchanged okay so what happens to our integral it becomes 1 by n square integral from 0 to infinity ln t into t to the power 1 by n minus 1 by 1 plus t dt okay now this is a place where everybody will be stuck okay they don't know how to proceed any further from here but let me help you out here let us recall our beta function okay so let's say beta xy what is it so one of the several definitions of beta function says it can be expressed as 0 to infinity t to the power x minus 1 by 1 plus t to the power x plus y dt okay now in this expression what I am going to do I am trying going to get this integral somehow okay how will I do that see ln t is coming out that is number one point of observation your x plus y is becoming 1 that is another point of uh, observation and obviously your x will become 1 by n also ok so what I am going to do the first op operation that I would be doing is I will make x plus y as a 1 ok so can I say I will substitute my y as 1 minus x ok so on doing that nothing will happen in the numerator but denominator will conveniently become a 1 plus t ok now second thing I want ln of t to come out ok how will I get ln t if you see that carefully it will come from partially differentiating this expression with respect to x okay with respect to x so what I'll do is I'll do a partial derivative of beta function on x1 minus x with respect to x so the partial derivative is going to go inside so it's dou by dou x of t to the power x minus 1 1 plus t and whole thing is going to be integrated with respect to t okay so what will this become this will become 0 to infinity partial derivative of t to the power x minus 1 with respect to x will be t to the power x minus 1 ln t okay so let me write ln t ahead of it and 1 plus t is anyways a constant because you are partially differentiating it with respect to x so this term takes okay so now what we see is that our expression has taken birth okay so obviously we need to know what is this result now okay so we all know this that beta x comma y can be written as gamma x gamma y by gamma x plus y so this is a conversion of beta function into gamma function so in light of this what is beta x1 minus x it will be gamma x gamma 1 minus x by gamma 1 gamma 1 is 0 factorial we all know that now this term is something which is very very uh, well known to the viewers you can get this result by using your Euler's reflection formula so Euler's reflection formula okay what is Euler's reflection formula Euler's reflection formula says gamma x gamma 1 minus x is pi by sine pi x of course x has to be between 0 to 1 okay now so what I am going to do I have to do the partial derivative of gamma x gamma 1 minus x because this is what you need to differentiate and this is in turn gamma x gamma 1 minus x
which means you have to do a partial derivative of pi cosec pi x okay and if i do that i'll end up getting minus pi cosec pi x into cot pi x into pi of course using the chain rule of differentiation so this result becomes minus pi square cosec pi x into cot pi x now i need to perform this differentiation when x is 1 by n so let us put that so that will make our result minus pi square cosec pi by n cot pi by n now going back to the integral in our integral we also had this term 1 by n square as a factor sitting outside so let us include that in my answer so finally 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 we have come to the end of this particular solution so it becomes minus pi square by n square cosec pi by n cot pi by n thank you so much for watching